In this video, we will we'll use Excel to find percentiles, deciles, quartiles, and the median. So you can start by downloading the question file. Download it and open it up. Right, the question file is the first file. So just to quickly give you an explanation um, of percentiles, deciles, and quartiles. Um, so here's my data set and we've arranged, we've, we've got a sample of 20 people and we've arranged their heights from the shortest to tallest in an order, right? Now, just to quickly work through, we'll just quickly uh, discuss what percentiles, deciles, quartiles are. Um, let's go straight to, okay, well, first of all, what, what's a percentile? Uh, cent, cent, cent in Latin means 100. So, you know, there's 100%, uh, there's 100% there. Um, so 100 decile deck means 10 in Latin. So if you look at your first decile, uh, it's your 10th percentile, right? Um, quartiles, they're four quarters, right? So the, if you look at that, your first quartile is your 25th percentile and the median is position in the middle. So the middle number, right? So your 50th percentile, fifth decile, second quartile and your median right now just quickly show you how these functions work uh, in this function here we've asked for the 50th percentile right now i can use i'm going to use the percentile function here so you can type in equals percentile Inc. select your data now i'm going to reuse this function so i'm going to be pushing f. i'm going to push f4 so i can copy it down now they want the 50th percentile so just, so just type in 50 percent and there we have it and there's my 50th percentile i'm going to use the same formats right now the fifth decile um i could use the fifth decile well to explain what it is the fifth decile it is uh the same as the 50th percentile All right so if, five times 10 is 50, right? So we're looking for a number that is halfway down this list, right? So it will be a number between positions 10 and 11. Right now, um, in this case, I'm just gonna use the same function because there is not a decile function in Excel. So I'm gonna use this percentile function again and just search for the 50th percentile. Right now, the second quartile, once again, the second quartile, well, that is, the fifth decile, it's the same, it's equivalent to the fifth decile and it's the same as the 50th percentile. So in this case, I will use the quartile. Well, I'm not gonna use the quartile function. I will use it later on. So once again, I could just use this percentile function again, right? And that would be correct. The median, okay, well, in this case, I could either use the median, you can see is the same. It's the number which occurs uh, halfway down if you order your data. Um, it's the middle number, and that's the same as the second quartile and so on. So what I'll do in this case, I could okay, I'll be a bit different. I'll just use the median function. Right, and you'll see that we're going to get the same value. It's the same value. Right, enter, and it's the same value. Right, now, the 67th percentile, what that is, it's a number, which if we, here's my list, and we're going to go basically two thirds the way down that list. So it's gonna be somewhere around there. You'll see it in a minute. So what I'll do to find the 67th percentile, I will use the same function. Right, there it is. And I'm just gonna change that to 67%. And enter. Right, so 176.46, let's have a quick look. Where is that? 176.6. So there it is. It's between the 13th and 14th position, and it's closer to the 177. Right. The eighth decile. So eighth decile. Well, what is that? The eighth decile is the 80th percentile. Right. So let's go and copy that percentile function. Right. And we're going to change that and look for the 80th percentile, right, 182.4, so where is that? 
there. So it's just after the 16th position. So it's between those two numbers is your 80th percentile. So we're going 80% of the way down this list. The first quartile, well, in this case, the previous time I used the percentile, guys, the first quartile, there is a function for this in Excel. It's called quartile. All right, so we go equals quartile. Select your numbers there. Right, and which one do they want? Well, we want the first quartile. So comma, first quartile, 25th percentile, and there it is. And there we have it. So I hope you found this interesting and useful, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.